Hey, good afternoon. Welcome back. Lower 60s right now, mid to upper 50s. In some locations, we are seeing clouds start to move in to the Wabash Valley. That might impact temperatures, might keep them steady here. But these are impressive temperatures for this part of the year. We're still in the lower 60s all week. We've been warmer than normal, but we are going to start to see some changes beginning tonight. So if you enjoy the warmth, you want to get outside, enjoy some of this uh, last comfortable weather that we have here. I would try to do it this afternoon uh, because we are going to see changes beginning tonight. Again, tomorrow it's going to get cooler all day. And you can see the signs of this already. Cloud cover coming in out of the south over here to the west. Cloud cover building up. This is ahead of a chance of rain, cooler air. And you can see our Futurecast predicting this throughout these next several hours. The temperatures are here. You can see where Futurecast thinks are going to go very briefly this afternoon. Mid to upper 60s. Off and on sunlight's expected here. It's going to be nice. And then even tonight, this is around five, you know, the sun's setting earlier now and you know the sun's gonna be lower on the horizon. Now usually it begins to cool off quite a bit by five and you're gonna have partly cloudy skies. Even with all of these conditions, temperatures are still hanging on in the lower 60s at this time. So it's still going to be pretty warm even as we move through this evening. And as it gets dark, as we move through the rest of the night, cloud cover takes over almost completely. And again, this is ahead of some rains. It's around, you know, 11, mid 50s, close to 60 degrees. As we roll over into the next day uh, after midnight, and you see scattered rain showers trying to get started here. And at first, that's what it is. It's just very scattered rain attached to these clouds. Our temperatures are going to be holding steady because of this. And as rainfall starts to pass through here. Unfortunately, I think it's still very scattered, even though we need the rain. But uh, fortunately, you can see how widespread the scattered rain is. It's going to pass through here and afterwards you can see what it does to our temperatures. So later in the day, instead of rising like temperatures typically would this or any part of the year, uh, tomorrow it's just going to get colder all day long. So we're going to start out around 60. By the end of the day, you're closer to 50, upper 40. So it's just going to get cooler rather than warmer throughout the day. And then tomorrow night, we're back in the mid 30s. So again, the chance of rain is going to move in later. If you like the warmth, today is the day, upper 60s near 70, some spots. Tonight, though, look at the temperatures, mid 50s. They're not really going to change too much over the course of the overnight because of the clouds and rain. Tomorrow around 60, rain showers. Remember, temperatures are dropping all day long. So by tomorrow night, we're in the upper 20s. And then we're a lot closer to normal for this part of the year, Saturday and Sunday with highs in the lower 50s on Saturday, mid 50s on Sunday.